<laughs> what is going on guys and gals welcome to another EVE Online video and welcome to my channel if this is the first time you've been here we're going to be doing a Blood Raider 10 out of 10 DD complex we're currently flying a Tempest fleet issue we're going to show you the easiest way to do it um, without having to warp out at the very end room like I've been told to do several times so let's go ahead and kick the tires and light the fires Alright, this first room takes a little while, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to lock up the guys right here next to us. We're going to micro jump straight up, and then I'm going to set up a little sniper perch, and we're going to start picking them off one by one. This part takes a little while, so I'm going to hit the magical fast forward button, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Thanks for sticking it out, guys. Uh, it was more painful for me than it was you guys. Promise. Uh, we're waiting on this last guy to go down right here. As you can tell, there's nothing on the field but the towers. I normally leave them there because anybody who comes in after me is going to have fun getting through them without a micro jump drive or a cloak, and if they cloak in time. Those stasis towers are pretty much insta locking. We're going to go ahead and head to the second room here. Come on, land already, you take forever. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our sentry drones once we land because they're gonna automatically engage one of the stasis towers and we're just gonna make sure both of them are locked. All right, so here we go. Once I see my drones engaging, I lock the cruisers. Those are gonna be my next target. All right. Uh, see my drones are doing pretty much good work on that one. I'm going to throw a cruise missile that way, turn it off, and then I'm going to switch the drones over to the second stasis tower. And I'm going to wait till the stasis tower is done before I start engaging the cruisers because I figured out that if you engage the cruisers before the sentry tower is done, frigates will spawn. So we're trying to do this without the frigate spawning, so we're going to go ahead and kill the cruisers, then all the battleships. Alright, time for the magical fast forward button again.
All right. Now with that final one. Uh, all right. We need to reload our guns. Why am I not warping? Uh, okay. Let's try this again. All right. And what I like to do is I like to actually split the guns, uh, spread the damage on the final station. And then what we'll do is we'll sort by name so we can find it easier. We're only going after one target in here and nothing else. Alright. You can hear my dog in the background with her squeaky toy. <laughs> oh my god, so annoying. Alright, so... We got our target. We're going to go ahead and lock that and mash F8 at the same time. Marker jumps active. Move that back over here. And cycle the guns. Alright, go ahead and stop your ship. And drop sentry guns. And just blast away at it until it dies. Don't forget you can drop your MTUs the moment it blows up it starts bringing your cargo can to you. So this is what saves me time so I don't have to warp out warp back in to get my loot. I can actually see what it is before I leave and my tank strong enough to sit here and wait. All right, there you go. Uh, the stronghold is destroyed. My tank is holding just fine. Go ahead and pull the drones in so they don't kill anything else. We don't need it mixing up the cargo can with another wreck and have to sit here longer. Now we just gotta sit here and wait on the cargo can to get here. Alright, so we got a Corporate X type, 23 Overseer, and a Balgorn Blueprint. Pretty good for first sight of the night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you can see when my next video comes out. See you next time.